Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville, however, of Alabama, well, he's standing firm on his months-long blockade on hundreds of military promotions, despite that deadly conflict in Israel. Tuberville's blockade has put a hold on at least 300 military nominees, including top officers who would command forces in the Middle East, including Rear Admiral George Wyckoff, who is slated to lead the Fifth Fleet that includes naval forces operating in the Middle East at the moment. The current Fifth Fleet commander, Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, is supposed to be promoted to Deputy Commander of US CENTCOM, which oversees troops and military operations in the Middle East region, but that promotion is also being held up by Tuberville. In a statement, Tuberville's office reaffirmed his stance and suggested Democrats could call each of the hundreds of nominations for individual votes. That process would take hundreds of hours, however. The Republican senator has maintained the promotions blockade to, the pro to, pro to protest the Defense Department's policy that gives time off and reimbursements for service members and their family members seeking abortions out of state. It does seem like an extraordinary time for America not to have the people in place that it needs in CENTCOM and in the Fifth Fleet, just as that Fifth Fleet alley is moving closer to the region. Is there anyone there on Capitol Hill, presumably on the Senate side, I'm not sure where that leadership would come from, but who could put pressure on Senator Tuberville to say, listen, you know, OK, we get the stance, but right now U.S. forces are in a position where they could materially aid our key ally in the region, Israel, and we need those promotions in post. Of course, the landscape has changed over the course of the last two to three days, Caddy, but that pressure has already been on the senator from Alabama. And it does feel like at each turn, when there is an opportunity for an exit ramp, he does not take it and continues to hold his ground here. We did see the confirmation of three key postings. That was something that Senator Chuck Schumer did a few weeks ago. But as you mentioned, it would take hours to go through each of these positions one by one and confirm them. The national security concerns here are not new. From the moment that Tuberville began this blockade and these promotions started piling up, experts and national security officials were clear. This is endangering U.S. national security. That has not changed Tuberville's mind. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not Israel now being a factor implicates or changes anything in the mind of the senator. But I do think it's important to note we're not going to see senators back this week. They are out of town, on recess, some of them on codels across the country, uh, I'm sorry, ac across the world. That's going to be something that keeps them far from Washington. They're still getting briefed, but in terms of us being able to press Senator Tuberville, that's not something that we're going to see. And I think there's also the open question of now that Israel is part of the landscape, how does this impact the conversation around Ukraine aid, especially as some Republican senators have been reticent to give there, but are calling for aid to Israel now? Yeah, we'll dive into that. Political complication in a little while. NBC News yeah. Capitol Hill correspondent Al Vitale, thank you. Busy few days ahead for you. We yeah. appreciate it.